so I made a slight miscalculation. Okay, today I want to give an update of my hitch carry with ramp. I've had this unit for about seven years now and it's been a workhorse. I've used it to carry my snow blower mostly, but also my lawnmower and my tool chest to take that home. So it's been a great tool to have. So some features I like are that it's rated to 500 pounds. It has a ramp, which makes it real easy to load wheeled equipment. And also the rails, which allow you to store items and tie down your load as well. That is also one of my complaints. The rails give you many options to tie your load down. But one of the issues is if you're, if you're tying at an angle, your strap will slide because there's nothing to actually grip onto. It's just sliding on the bar. So that's one thing I want to address in this video. Also the pins for the ramp are on the, are on the small side and the clips are also small. So it's hard to work with gloves. Normally just take them off, but they can be a pain to find when you drop them in the snow. So let's see if I can address some of these problems that I have. To improve this hitch here, I have four anchor rings, which are rated 1,200 pounds each, which are way overkill for this. New clevis pins and new clips, as well as a bag of hardware. Now the bolts I bought are slightly too large for the anchor rings, so I'll drill these out to make them fit. So I made a slight miscalculation. There's a reflector bracket right where I want to bolt down the anchor rings. Now one option is to move two inches forward, but that would put my rear tie downs for the snowblower almost vertical. And I kind of just want to pull back more on that. And this bracket is dead center on this bar. So that's not going to work unless I cut that plate off and move it. Uh, my other option is to move back further, which isn't an issue, other than the holes I started with, but I can weld those shut. That isn't a big deal. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move them back to the corners and everything should be good. This could definitely use some touch-up paint. I'm not gonna get into that today. I'd love to, I might wait till spring. But one thing I do wanna do is get some paint on those fresh holes that I put in. So I'll sand down those areas, put on a rust paint. So I'm just gonna scuff them up, put some rust paint on them, let that dry, and let it this on.
Next, I'll drill new holes for the new clevis pin, which is larger than the original. The holes are all drilled, so now I'll just cover everything up with some rust paint. Then I can bolt on the anchor rings. So the holes are drilled, paint is on, and dry enough. And then, uh, so now I just gotta put the hardware on. With the new hardware, it should be much easier to haul the snowblower in the winter time. Might be easier to deal with gloves, easier to find the parts. I still like to come up with a way to attach a lanyard to the, the pins so that, that they don't fall off. But it would be nice if there was another hole right at the end. <clears throat> I might do that myself, but it's going to be a pain drilling into that. Might have to go use someone's drill press to do that. Other than that, this should be good for this season. I can take it all apart, clean it, and paint it in the spring, and then, and then it'll be good to go.